Alright, so this is part two of refinishing the magazine. And this is what I have so far. As you can see, like I said, the greens are going this way on the back here. Top to bottom. Side to side. I think this looks extremely well. Uh, I, I can't even speak. Uh, let's try that again. I think that came out extremely well. There you go. There are some imperfections of mine because, again, this is uh, someone used a Dremel on here and that was a stupid move, but whatever. Make sure you didn't get any debris inside the magazine. And here's the base plate. If you're looking at it like so, it goes side to side. And even on the sides, it goes up and down. Top to bottom, whatever. Now we're gonna we're cleaning it up now. We're actually pretty close to being finished. Now you're gonna want this water to be really, really, really hot. And you're gonna want to be really, really, really careful. See, you don't need to go up too high on the mag lip to clean that or down here because those areas get a little roughed up anyway. Just get the majority of it and try. I don't think it really matters because I don't think the stuff is really rough enough. But try and go with your grain that you've made. And try and keep the stuff away from the pinholes too. Any openings by the valve, any of that stuff. Alright, you gotta do this very uh, gently. Now you gotta take your, your, your hands and you're just gonna lightly glide off this excess soap. You don't want to saturate any of this because that moisture might get caught and stuck in areas that you won't be able to get it out. Don't worry if there's still some just kind of like hanging around on there. You'll get it when you wipe it off. Now, again, make sure you have this still tilted. Like so. And you can go with the grain that you've made. Don't worry too much about going near the valve. Just stay away from it. Yeah, it probably would be a little bit easier if you, if you took the valve out. But not everyone has a valve key. You gotta remember, uh, most of my videos are done by some sort of budget. Okay? So, if you notice that, a lot of my videos are done on a budget. Uh, excuse me, on a budget. That cheap does work. You just gotta make it work. Now, at this point, you could actually. Get a towel, and again, try and keep, I know I'm off camera right now, all I'm doing is just drying it off. I'm going to make sure you dry off a lot of the areas quite often just to make sure there isn't any water or anything going anywhere and check. Okay, we're good. Now we're on, we're going to do this side now. Go with the grain. Actually messed up. It's okay. It won't matter because it's not rough enough. But just in case. So I am applying a little, pre uh, little pressure here. Just to make sure that the grain. If the grain did get screwed up. I'll be fixing it now. But I don't think it got screwed up. I doubt it. I doubt it got messed up. I don't know what grade sandpaper I was using. Uh, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get the imperfections out. A lot of you guys and girls might just have like surface imperfections. Hopefully you don't let someone just take a Dremel to it. All 
Alright, I'm going to dry this section off now. Again, just try very easy. I mean, you might get some water in there, but if you do get any on the bottom section, it will just drip out. It's not the end of the world. Just make sure you keep the water out from the, the top part, because then you might not get it out. The water might get stuck in there, and you never know what can happen. And cause bigger problems than what you already had. Alright, so I'm gonna make sure there isn't any water. There's a little bit in there, but it's not deep enough to where I can't get it. Now we're gonna work on the belly here. I know a lot of you might just kind of be like, well, what is the point of this? It just seems like you're just cleaning it all up. Well, really, that that is what it is. It's just a matter of how you look at it. Yeah, I might just be cleaning it up, but I'm putting a grain in it. So if you decide to, you know, if you want to have these stainless steel rather than buying a stainless steel mag, you can, and the grain will show, and then you'll lacquer it at the end. So then that finish will look realistic, smooth. It just look really nice, rather than just having the uh, metal ball. You can also get a Q-tip, in case you accidentally get into this section here. It doesn't really matter if you get in there, so you can just clean that out later. That's pretty much cleaned up. Look at that. That light, when I hit that, that nicely, if you just were simply just cleaning it up. Okay, now I'm going to put that aside standing up so that way if any water is in, on the bottom, um, it will just escape to the bottom and it will be okay. Again with the green, we're almost done here with the video and in general. I doubt I'll have 